YouTube, 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 what's going on with SoFi Stock? Now, thank you guys for tuning in. Please hit that thumbs up as we continue to go to the channel. I greatly would appreciate it. Now, SoFi has been a little rocky as of late, as a lot of what's been happening with SoFi has been related to what's going on economically, which we'll talk about that a little bit later in the video. But as of today, and at the time of this recording, we got five minutes left till the market is closed. And so far, it's up nearly 7% on the day, back to $8.37. Now, over the last week, that brings us up to 5.95%. Over the last month, we're up 11.81%. And year to date, we're down nearly 15%, but virtually we're flat on the year. Now, we made a lot of progress from some of the points we have seen this year but ultimately you guys know i still remain bullish uh on sofi now let's talk about what's been going on over the last couple of days now the uh, sofi a member centric one-stop shop for digital financial services that helps members borrow save and spend invest and protect their money and primary bid technologies a leading capital markets fintech firm today announced the launch of the DSP 2.0, an advanced direct share platform that offers a modern and streamlined approach to equity program management for companies looking to raise capital in the U.S. And so this actually came out on October 2nd. Now, DSPs allow companies to allocate a portion of their share offerings to specific individuals or groups, such as employees or customers. However, since these solutions often require manual processing and don't integrate well with other systems, they're expensive and time extensive to operate and limit uh, investor participation to select a few. Now, with the potential rebound for the initial public offering uh, market in 2025, SoFi's offering brings equity program management, IPO, and follow on offering processes into the, the digital age. Now it also gives issuers enhanced flexibility in raising capital by enabling them to involve non-institutional investor groups at scale. Now SoFi's DSP offers a, con, uh, a cohesive investor experience, automations to minimize manual back office processing and expanded integrations with modern modern marketing analytic tools. Now, uh, in my perspective, I think this is uh, great for the company, great for consumers, great for for the, for customers. And it may take a little while for things to start moving, but eventually, I think this is going to be great. Now, to kind of sum this part of the video up. In a nutshell, SoFi is launching directed share platform for U.S. IPOs and capital raises. So this is going to be powered by primary bid. Okay, so I just wanted to let you guys know about that. Now, as far as extending on what's happening uh, with SoFi, um, obviously the, the, the shares are trading higher today. And so this is amid the heels of strong September unemployment figures and robust non-farm payrolls data. Now the unemployment rate came in lower than expected, signaling steady job growth. Now what you need to know, so the tentative resolution of the dock worker strike is easing concerns about potential supply chain issues. Now the dock workers reached an agreement to suspend the strike which had ended its third day, causing uncertainty about potential economic ramifications. Now, the strike's resolution reduces fears of extended disruption in critical goods like food, beverages, and raw materials, which could have significantly impacted the economy. Now, SoFi, known for its diverse suite of financial products, including personal loans, refinancing, and its digital banking services, is well positioned to benefit from the current market optimism. Now with economic conditions stabilizing, the financial services sector and companies like SoFi to see increased consumer activity and improved lending environment. So in a nutshell, 
this is what's going on with SoFi. And, you know, as we gear up for, for next week, you know, the next couple of weeks, you know, we got earnings season going to start. We've got more economic data coming out. We are going to be in some, some times where uh, a lot of these fintech stocks, a lot of the financial services sector is going to be tested along with the rest of the markets. But, you know, these these years aren't going to come with, with any challenges. And so we'll see what's going to happen over the next couple of weeks. I'm still banking on us ending the year above uh, – uh, nine uh, or at or above nine dollars per share, and you can see we've got earnings. where well, my mouse is here coming in twenty five days, so twenty five days away. And so, if these numbers come in better than expected, put on your seatbelt, guys. We are going definitely to nine dollars and possibly even higher. Okay, so I just wanted to give you guys some insight on what was going on. Uh, with SoFi. Let me know what you guys think about SoFi going into next week. How do you think the saga is going to perform in the next couple of weeks? I appreciate you guys and I'm out. Peace.